All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the E3 Teardown with yours truly, RVB Shard. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the live streams and listen to our opinions straight up, I'm just going to hit you with some knowledge. Yeah, I'm going to hit you in the face with some knowledge. With whack! Knowledge! Whack! We've got some knowledge. Anyway, um, basically, Microsoft's press conference, in my opinion, was quite poor uh, from last year's. Generally, E3 this year was pretty sucky. I can't really defend it. It was pretty fucking crap this year. E3 was not anywhere near as good as it should have been last year. And to be honest, uh, when I first saw Microsoft's press conference this year, I thought, oh dear God, I'm going to have to hand the crown to Nintendo or Sony because this sucked. But to be honest, I've checked the other two. <sighs> Shoot me now. No. Um... But anyway, let's head up at Microsoft's uh, conference. The first couple announcements were really interesting. The first, like, 20, 30 minutes of that conference were fucking epic. You had live, uh, first-look gameplay at Black Ops. We saw Gears 3, which looked fucking epic. You know, play on words, epic games, epic game. Fucking yeah. Um, we also saw some looks at uh, gameplay footage of Metal Gear Rising, which had a very interesting take on, you know, Samurai Sword gameplay, although I still stand firm, Raiden is a pussy. Why couldn't we have Grey Fox? Why? Because you're gay! Fuck you, Kojima! What the stick? Anyway, um, yeah, the, the press conference was going well up until the ESPN announcement. Now, I'm not a big fan of sports, especially not fucking American sports, considering I'm fucking Scottish after all. Durr. Right? So don't give a flying fuck. So I pretty much basically turned my brain off at that point, which is probably for the best. And then they rolled out the uh, demos of Kinect, and I don't care how many people call it Kinect, it's fucking Natal, get over it. I'm used to saying Natal, I'm not changing because Microsoft has a stick up their ass. Fuck you, MS. It is Natal. Project Natal. Dummy. Fucking bitches. But the demos for Natal were interesting for a short period of time. Now, they announced 15 launch titles with Natal uh, when it comes out in November. And I was like, eh, pretty interesting stuff up until a point. I mean, the tiger demo was a little bizarre. Having an eight-year-old tickling a tiger was a little creepy. However, it would have been even creepier should it have been a full-grown adult doing that crap. And I understand where they're going with this, but it, it was a little strange. Um, and the other games I understand are for the like the freaking casual market. I'm, I'm really wanting to see more hardcore stuff for Natal. You know, like a beat-em-up. Like a freaking, uh, even a sort of first-person simulator or something like Something like Second Life or something using Natal as an interface would be really cool. But the stuff they showed was kind of, meh. Not so great. And then it kind of took a bizarre turn for me, personally, when I looked at the sort of uh, Twitter type uh, call chat feature they had. I'm just thinking, I'm just sitting there thinking, Jesus Christ, this is fucking Stalker Vision 2010. I mean, the chick was moving and the camera was following. I was like, wow, that's just weird. I get the reason you have the features to keep the player in focus when they're playing a game, but fucking hell, that's weird. And how many people are going to use that to expose themselves? It's basically freaking Uno times 20 with Natal penis waggle, which is a little, yeah. There's, there's a lot of potential in the technology, but unfortunately the shit I've seen for it is just a little... Uh, they, didn't, they didn't have to waste as much time on the, the Microsoft press conference with fucking crap on Natal. They should have done... Like, they were supposed to do it and have a completely separate event just for Natal. Would have been nice. Um, but, of course, we saw footage on Reach, the first campaign footage of Reach, which was pretty awesome. Yet again, Gears fucking looked sweet. Fable 3... It uh, looks okay, but unfortunately I have a personal grudge against Peter Molyneux for being a dickhead and promising gamers five uh, black and white games and he's only ever delivered two. Cock. Black and white is awesome. Why the hell do you keep fucking around with Fable when black and white would be so much better? Smack you in the fucking hurt! God, I hate Molyneux. Lying, cheating scumbag. Needs to be freaking burned at the stake. Not because he's a witch, just because I don't like him. Um, and at that point, like I said, when it came up to the Natal stuff, I kind of thought, ah, oh, this conference is going to kind of downhill, ah, uh, 
Snore. And then, of course, the big reveal at the end of the new 360, which I have to say, pretty awesome. Uh, sleeker design, smaller, quieter, better cooling system, integrated two uh, 250 gig hard drive, and then built Wi-Fi. Pretty fucking slick. And they'll be getting over here by next month. So, and you know, like, they're retailing for the same price as a current 360 right now, which is going to be awesome. I'll be trading mine in to get one. The one thing that really pissed everybody off, though, about the Microsoft press conference is everybody who was watching at home basically wanted to punch their TV when that freaking douchebag goes, yeah, everybody in the studio audience can get a 360. Here you go. And I'm like, oh, fucking, oh, you fucking lame asshole. I get the gesture. I understand what you're doing, but why? Couldn't you have said that after the cameras were off? That way the rest of us wouldn't all just sit there and go, Oh, I'm going to freaking stab you. But yes. Uh, Microsoft Press Conference was okay. It was a little bizarre in places. A little... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really feel the oomph like I felt last year. There wasn't enough like exclusive titles for the hardcore. There wasn't enough gameplay footage for the rest of us. There was too much crap about Natal. Which I understand it's a big thing for them and it, it does have limitless potential later on for different game types and different controller interfaces and different things you could do with it. I get it, it's a big deal, but for the love of fuck, it doesn't have to take up more than half the fucking conference. Jesus effing Christ. But yeah, Microsoft, uh, you know what? I'm not going to even give him a rating right now. I'm going to wait until the last moment and I can give everybody a rating at once. Well, that was part one. Microsoft. Part two will be Nintendo and part three will be Sony. So, stay tuned and watch out for the other parts. See ya!